Hi guys, welcome back to my corner. So today's video is all about the e.l.f. sponge and brush cleanser. For an affordable price, does it work and does it do a good job in cleaning our makeup brushes and makeup sponges? We're gonna talk about it in this video next. <music> My name is Terry, and I do honest, no hype product reviews here on my channel. So about a month ago, I stumbled into this e.l.f. makeup sponge cleanser at Target. So immediately I was thinking this could be an affordable dupe for the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. I've been using this for about maybe three weeks now in cleaning my makeup brushes, in cleaning my sponges. The e.l.f. cleanser cost about $4 at e.l.f.com and it's in this travel friendly case. And this is what it looks like and it's actually black guys. It's because it's infused with charcoal. The claims are it's enriched with charcoal which helps in detoxifying and really does a good job in cleansing the sponge from makeup you've seen like charcoal masks before or charcoal cleansers before so they really do a good job at cleansing the skin cleansing the face you know detoxifying and also very good at preventing acne the first thing that I noticed about the elf is that it takes longer to consume it wasn't until this third or fourth week now that I noticed that there's an indentation in the soap itself but before it was a solid circle and it and no matter how many brushes I cleaned and no, no matter how many times I used it it was just not you know getting smaller and smaller however with the beauty blender cleanser I noticed that even at first use it kind of wears down immediately so especially if you were to use makeup brushes it's gonna create that deep indentation almost instantly at first use so this elf solid cleanser you know gets one point because it lasts longer and so this little bar of soap is gonna go a long way beauty blender cleanser is about one ounce and it costs about $16 at Sephora however the elf is actually a little bit more it's 1.4 ounces let me check real quick so the elf however is 1.56 ounce so you get more for only four dollars what a great deal um it did an amazing job at cleaning my makeup brushes and makeup sponge with the white beauty blender it had that permanent stain from all my makeup this one wasn't able to remove all of those permanent stains so i decided to give the beauty blender a try and it wasn't really able to remove those makeup stains as well so Elf also did a good job at cleaning my makeup brushes. The difference that I saw with the Beauty Blender cleanser is that it kind of cleaned the makeup brushes a lot faster. I would have to just soak the makeup brushes one or two times and it would clean my brushes immediately. But this one, I would probably have to soak my makeup brush or sponge maybe three times, maybe just one more time than the Solid Beauty Blender cleanser. And so I don't mind that, you know, if I have to repeat cleansing, just one more time for this affordable price and the fact that it lasts longer so definitely i would go with the elf four dollars versus 16 come on this one alone is almost just as expensive as the beauty blender sponge so i just couldn't get myself to actually purchase this solid um cleansers on the elf side um you could find ingredients such as charcoal and aloe and on the beauty blender side there's also aloe but there's also coconut acid so coconut oil is really good at breaking down makeup so i think that would be a good ingredient to have as well compare the ingredients side by side the elf and the beauty blender cleanser pretty much have the same ingredients and what i'm looking at was the first five ingredients in these cleansers usually in a cosmetic brand or product the first five ingredients are the ingredients that is contained mostly in the product itself looking at the first five ingredients i noticed that four of the ingredients are exactly the same between the elf and the beauty blender cleansers so if the ingredients are pretty much the same and then this one is four dollars and this one is sixteen dollars then i would go with the four dollars so i'm so happy i found this so from now on i'm I'm gonna switch to the e.l.f. solid cleanser and so I can't wait to do that. You know e.l.f. has been really coming out with good 
quality products and items. I love some of their makeup brushes. Um, and so they are really stepping up their game. And so I'm really excited about that because makeup is expensive enough. And so we don't really need to be spending a whole lot of money in, you know, our cleansers for our sponges and makeup brushes. So I highly recommend this e.l.f. Solid Sponge Cleanser. It's affordable, same ingredients as the Beauty Blender. It has um, charcoal, which is good at detoxifying and cleansing and also it has aloe aloe is really good with burns soothing irritated skin it takes longer to consume so you're going to be able to use this multiple times so much more than the beauty blender this one runs out pretty quickly so i vote for elf all the way i don't think this is a new item but people haven't really talked about this enough and so i highly recommend if you need to clean your makeup brushes go to target or elfcosmetics.com and grab yourself a solid cleanser great alternative to the solid beauty blender cleanser so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video thumbs up this video if you liked it or learned something comment down below what is your favorite makeup sponge or makeup brush cleanser what do you like to use as far as cleaning your makeup brushes and sponges if you're new here please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week and also check out my other videos on affordable makeup products. I think you'll really enjoy watching those. And I hope to see you guys back in my corner soon. Bye.